Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Shlokas Academy YouTube channel. And this video is specially to making a notes on atomic structure, first part, which I have discussed during the class. Right. So atomic structure, this is our new topic. And this is very important topic for both JE and as well as NEED. In the previous videos, we have discussed what is atom and what was the Dalton's atomic theory and how to find out atomic weight and average atomic weight. Calculation of average atomic weight in a traditional way and as well as in a shortcut method. All these things we have done in previous two videos. Now we are going to discuss atomic structure and in these subtopics, Dalton's atomic theory, which we already done and discovery of fundamental particles. Fundamental particles means we have three important particles that is proton, electron and neutron. You can easily remember as pen. First, we will discuss about discovery of electron and discovery of proton and discovery of neutron. After the, after the discovery of these fundamental particles, the arrangement of these three fundamental particles within the atoms, which is nothing but atomic model. And in this atomic model, we have three atomic models, very important, Thomson's atomic model, Rutherford and Bohr's atomic model. And after that, dual nature of the light. And here we will discuss quantum theory of radiation or Planck's quantum theory and photoelectric effect also under dual nature of light. In a similar way, we also discuss about dual nature of matter, then de Broglie wave equation or wave nature, and Eisenberg uncertainty principle, quantum numbers, and electronic configuration. In this topic, we are going to discuss about all these nine subtopics and very detailedly, right? So, next, first, uh, let us discuss about discovery of electron, which was done by J. J. Thompson. And in this, he has used uh, discovery of for the discovery of electron he has used uh, one what is it a uh, uh, discharge tube which is also called as cathode ray tube which is also called as a cathode ray discharge tube and here in this cathode ray discharge tube what is this apparatus i will explain let me this is cathode with negative charge anode positive charge this is vacuum pump to evacuate the uh, gases present inside because with the help of this vacuum pump we can maintain very low pressure which is 10 to the power of minus 4 atmosphere and here high voltage means we should use 10,000 voltage so when we apply this much of electricity across these two electrodes some invisible rays are up, uh, present in this uh, tube and we, they are generating at the cathode and moving towards the anode so next uh, that's why as they are generating at the cathode, they were named as cathode rays. And the properties of cathode rays. What are the properties of cathode rays? This is discharge tube. Now we have to discuss proper properties of cathode rays. All these are the properties of cathode rays. Cathode rays travel in a straight line with a very high velocity and produces shadow of the object placed in their path. Cathode rays produces mechanical effect and if a small pedal wheel is placed in that path, it starts rotating, which indicates that they consist of material particles, means they should possess some mass. When electrical and magnetic field are applied to cathode rays in the charge tube, the rays are deflected towards positive plate of the field, which shows that cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles called electrons. Cathode rays creates fluorescence. Fluorescence means it is nothing but there is a one uh, substance which is called as zinc sulfide. The, this is coated with zinc sulfide screen. Whenever a charged particle hit this screen, it will give spark. Then we come to know that something is present in the tube that is charged. And this cathode rays penetrates through a thin sheet of aluminum metal. The, the effect photo electric, uh, photographic plate. And here the ratio of of charge to mass means charge means E charge on the electron and the mass of the electron which is known as it is also known as specific charge same for all cathode rays it is irrespective of the nature of the gas used in the tube why like so we can discuss in the next video you don't worry about that and out of seven properties this 
four are very very important towards competitive examination one two three and seven these are not that much of important but for theory purpose they may be important now here properties of electron after the discovery of electron they have given three properties so this is what e by m value of electron which was done by the jj thompson experiment and from the mullikan's oil drop experiment it was found that the charge on the electron was 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs 2 and here the units are coulombs per kg from these two equations i know e by m value and i know e value by substituting here i can get the mass of the electron as 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg or 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 28 grams so that is and please copy the notes very neatly in your one notebook and we will continue with the uh, uh, next two topics uh, with the same uh, flow and be concentrate and be stay with the shlokas academy youtube channel and share to maximum of your friends so that uh, we can uh, you we can what is that uh, utilize this free opportunity in a, a good manner thank you thank you so much